Every time I talk about this subject, there are people who jump up to say, no, no, it's only the rare activists, the fringe activists, it's fringe. The people who are saying that homosexuality is about same gender attraction and not same sex attraction. The notion that it's transphobic if you require that your sexual partner have the same type of genitalia as you. Look, it's simply not rare to run across this kind of mindset, particularly on the internet. It's become commonplace. It's very, very popular within the atheist community. You know, if you don't convert to their, their belief about these things, well, you're a transphobe and you're this or that. You're something that ends in istrophobic. Gotta love what the, the atheist community's turned into on, the, on you know, YouTube, right? Yeah, they, they may not believe in, in, you know, a god without proof, but they'll believe in a number of other things without proof. So, gotta do your virtue signaling. But yes, these people will claim that homosexuality has always been about gender. It's never been about sex. You know, in order to do conversion therapy on homosexuals. They don't try to do conversion therapy on straight people because they know that they, they're not going to have good results. But, you know, gay people, we're under the LGBT umbrella, so we have to support them. And it's just like, uh, no, not, not everything. Oh, but, but, but you have to. No, not really. When talking with gay men, they ask that you should be introspective about why you find vaginas repulsive. That all you can do is grow from asking these types of questions, right? While also implying the notion that you're a bigot unless you change these things about yourself. And when you tell them that what they're doing is conversion therapy, pure insults are what result. While again repeating the notion that it's always been about gender and not sex with nothing to back them up other than their feelings. Apparently, even on Grindr, which is supposed to be a hookup app for gay men, if you state that you're same-sex attracted anywhere in your bio, it's a violation of their code of conduct and they can delete your account. You must at least pretend to be open to having sex with people with vaginas or you're not really allowed on the app, an app that's designed for gay men. Look, it's none of your business and it's none of anyone's business why a lesbian or a straight man isn't into dick and why a gay man or a straight woman isn't into pussy. It's nobody's business. And it's not something people should feel like they have to change in order to, I don't know, be socially acceptable look across, you know, all places. This pressure to look at attraction differently... The pressure to abandon biology as a means of categorizing and relating to people in our heads. That we should instead base everything about how people feel about themselves is utterly maddening. There's no way to keep up with it. There's absolutely no way to keep up with it. If you can keep up with it, great. You've filled your mind with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't give a flying fuck about his truth, their truth, your truth, and you shouldn't give a shit about my truth. There's the truth, and the closer we can get to understanding it, the better. And the normal way of getting there is through facts. Feelings will never get us there. Feelings usually get in the way of the facts. And to those who associate the truth with your religion, yeah, your religion isn't going to get us anywhere either. It's not going to get us closer to the actual truth, just your imaginary version of it. Just saying.